Let me talk about education now. And I'm going to start with something that I believe many of us are absolutely passionate about, and that's early childhood education. Last year, when I was here, we had gone out to see how many preschool kids didn't have the opportunity to get a preschool education because of need. The number came out to be 29,000. That wasn't right. We shouldn't have a wait for preschool. We couldn't solve the problem in one year in order to be fiscally responsible. So what I said is, let's do $65 million investment in this last year's budget. And it got tremendous support because people do believe in this cause. We created 18,000 openings this last year for those preschool kids. That's fabulous. In fact, a couple days ago, a report came out that talked about early preschool education in the entire United States. You know who was at the top? Both in terms of percentage investment and dollar investment, the state of Michigan made the largest investment in preschool education in 2013 of any state in the United States. So let me share, again, this is a personal thing. This is not about numbers. So now, from Harrison Park Elementary School in Grand Rapids, I have a mother, Brittany Berentes. I'd like Br Brittany to stand with her two fine young children, Brianna, Briasia, excuse me, in Brooklyn. Um, Briasia's in sixth grade. She's completed preschool. She's moved on. And Brooklyn's in preschool. And she's got that opening because of this program. So thank you so much, girls and Brittany, for being with us tonight. I'll let you two girls figure out which one of you are going to be standing here someday giving this speech. <laughs> the other thing, though, is, is to say we made half that commitment. So when you find my bu budget message coming to you this next month, you're going to find a recommendation for an additional $65 million investment, and we're going to make it a no-weight state for early childhood education in the state of Michigan. Our Great Start Readiness Program has gotten such great recognition, we won our first Race to the Top award of over $50 million from the federal government to actually supplement the dollars we're doing. So that shows us we're being recognized as among the best in the country besides the biggest. So we're going to keep that up. Now in terms of K-12 education, we need to invest in our students to achieve student growth. It's critically important. And this is a topic that has a lot of misinformation out there on it. So I'm here tonight to set the record straight. I firmly believe in investing in K-12 education. And I'm proud to say, in the last three years, we've increased educational funding at the state level for K-12 each and every year to the point where we've invested $660 more per student than there was previously before I took office. That's a huge investment in K-12 education. Now you'll find people occasionally talking, well, it didn't show up in the per dollar allowance. Let me clarify the record on that. Those dollars have been invested in K-12. About half of the dollars, over a billion dollars, has gone into the school employee pension plan. And why did it happen that way? Because I think it's critically important we stand up and we properly fund our pension plans to make sure those 440,000 school employees and retirees can count on a solid pension. And at the same time, it allows school districts to put dollars in the classrooms instead of pension plans. It's the right answer, and we need to keep it up. 